my name is Mark Besick. I'm the national lead for Near Me Networks uh, here in Scotland. And I'm delighted today to introduce you to the following clinicians. They've been pathfinders along with their patients in testing and refining group consultations for Near Me for the use across the wider parts of Scotland for all public services. For people with functional neurological disorder, it can be quite an isolating condition to live with. Lots of the patients will have comorbidities such as fatigue and mobility problems, so seeing us from their home means that they are fresher and more able to engage with us. It allows them to meet others with the condition, learning about their condition as well as how they can manage it. The group sessions provide some peer support. There are more of them. We offer four online compared to two face-to-face -face sessions. We offer our patients a resource pack plus all the slides that we would offer in the face-to-face -face group. So there's an equality of service there. They're not receiving anything less, but they don't have to spend time taking detailed notes or splitting their attention over different things. I think it's really important when working in a diverse location geographically like we do to give our patients an equality in the services that they can access. So Near Me Groups is very good for that. It allows them to access services without the need to pay for expensive buses or petrol and get into the hospital. People who have difficulties with mobility don't have to worry about patient transport, for example. We also have people who may be triggered to have functional seizure activity with the stress of coming into the hospital, but that has not happened at all in our online groups, whereas in the face-to-face -face group, most groups would have had someone that had experienced that. It's always difficult to get a, a room of strangers talking. I think that's more difficult online. We have introduced a icebreaker where we ask people to describe how they feel in one word, it allows people to connect with each other without feeling under pressure. With any group intervention, there's a risk that someone is going to become emotional and upset talking about things that are quite difficult for them. The chat function on Near Me will allow us to send a private message to that person to check in with them. It can allow us to make arrangements to speak to them after the group so they don't feel on the spot or embarrassed about what's happening. I feel confident about the confidentiality that Near Me offer. One of the things that was paramount in Near Me being offered, I believe, in NHS Grampian was the lack of traceability after the call, that patients would not be able to pick up details from whoever else. And there's a lot of choice as to what information they can share, for example, initials or full name. What we do as facilitators is, if there isn't any answers forthcoming, we will give our examples, so we'll contribute first of all, and then that tends to encourage conversation from people who are attending. Now we've got the chat function. It was really good because actually people could type in the things that they wanted to say. So we would read that out and we would bring that into the conversation and share that experience. I think what's been really good is that with an online group, we've been able to offer the same sort of security and safety and reassurance for the patients as we have done in the face-to-face -face groups. In clinical neuropsychology, when we're working with patients who have an FND diagnosis, we're very aware that seizures can be a symptom. When it's online, we're not there with them. So what we do from the outset is part of the introductions to the group, there's risk protocol in place about how we manage somebody who experiences dissociation. We explain all that to the group at the start. We have like a thumbs up rule and ask people to keep their cameras on all the time. And when people register, we take their emergency contact details so that if anything happens during the group we have the ability to go and contact people to make sure they're safe. As a clinician it's been great that we've been able to be confident using Near Me because we've used it on a one-to-one -one basis across the pandemic for delivering patient care so now to be able to extend that confidentiality to group settings is fantastic. We will offer our patients the choice and integrate our groups as a blended approach. We'll offer face-to-face -face as well as an online facility for people 